These days, a lot of sports videographers produce content almost exclusively for Instagram. And if you're one of them, one question that's probably on your mind a lot is, does it make more sense to film this way or that way? First, let's look at it from an image quality perspective. I find that the best aspect ratio for any type of Instagram post, except for stories, the best aspect ratio, in my opinion, is four by five, mainly because it takes the most amount of real estate on your feed and grabs the viewer's attention much faster than a square video or a 16 by nine video. And I know that technically the biggest vertical video you can post to Instagram is a nine by 16 ratio that would take over your entire screen. But in the feed, a video that size has the top and bottom cropped out and you actually need to click on it to see it in full size. So that's why I think it's much better to produce a portrait video that can be watched and appreciated for what it is in the feed without having to click on it. Because if you're scrolling through your feed and you see a video that sort of looks weird because of the crop, you're not gonna click on it to see if it looks better full screen. You're probably just gonna keep scrolling. So anyway, portrait is the way to go. And the best resolution for portrait videos on Instagram is 1080 by 1350. That's the resolution that will get you the best quality possible. So if you're filming in 1080p horizontally, your image resolution is 1920 by 1080, which means that you have more than enough pixels to cover the width, but you are a bit short on the height and will need to scale up your image to cover the gap and therefore lose some image quality in the process. But on the other hand, if you film vertically instead, you are flush with the width and you have extra room height-wise. So therefore, as far as image quality is concerned, filming vertically is definitely better. And that's also the case in 4K, by the way, because if you're filming in 4K UHD at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, you won't lose any quality by filming horizontally, but you will definitely gain by filming vertically because you'll be able to squeeze in way more pixels into your frame. So vertical is great for image quality, but how convenient is it really? And I'm not just talking about filming like this for hours at a time, I'm also talking about editing. But let's start with the filming. Obviously all cameras are made to be held horizontally, so filming vertically handheld is always gonna bring some level of discomfort, which in turn will make your footage a little shaky. You can always buy a cage with a handle or two to make up for all that, and a cage will probably also allow you to attach your camera sideways to a tripod or a monopod if you want to. But ultimately, that's more equipment and more money. Also, don't forget that when you're filming vertically, it's a lot more difficult to follow the action. The narrow frame makes it very hard to keep the player you're filming in frame, and it's much more difficult to predict where the action is going because you can't see the other players, you can't see the net, you're basically going in blind. But when you're filming horizontally, not only do you have a buffer on the left and right of the player to keep him in frame, but it's also much easier with a wider shot to predict where the action is going. So for all those reasons, when it comes to convenience while filming, horizontal is the way to go. And don't underestimate convenience, by the way, because when filming is convenient and comfortable, it makes it a lot more easier to be stable, like I said before, but also way easier to expose and focus properly. Now, the last thing we need to compare is editing vertical footage versus horizontal footage for a portrait size video. Again, I gotta give it to horizontal on this one for a very similar reason to what we just talked about. By filming horizontally, you'll have extra footage on the left and right, which will make an editing technique like tracking much easier to do. It's also easier to create some fake camera movements in post or to adjust the framing of each clip to help transition seamlessly into the next. These things can also be accomplished if you're filming vertically in 4K, but again, horizontal 4K will give you even more pixels to play with. So that's why I personally always shoot horizontally. It just gives me more options, allows me to be way more creative, and when I'm producing content for Instagram, creativity is always my priority. But unfortunately, filming horizontally won't automatically make you a creative genius. So to learn how to easily add creativity to your work, make sure to click on the video appearing on your screen right now, and I'll see you guys there.